well good morning guys there's no sunrise to show you this morning it's a little overcast but that's okay because that's good for fishing it is surely good uh paul's not with me today i anticipate i really do anticipate a good day um it's already been a good day already been a good day i got to sleep a little late all that kind of stuff so uh awesome let's see i'm gonna start off i'm gonna get on a flat my favorite flat i'm not messing around today i've got fiddlers and some live shrimp so i'm gonna start on my favorite flat uh with the tide going out sometimes it's hard to know what to do you got to make decisions but you know what i don't think i can make a wrong one today we'll see trying to track these things down I'm not really sure where they are right yet on this flat I'm not seeing a ton of bait so I don't know how long I'm gonna keep working right here I've been here 15 minutes that's the first fish and the first bite But this is a big area and you just have to kind of, you gotta keep working till you figure out where they are. I was just about getting ready to move and leave and I caught that one. So I'll stay a little bit longer, but I'm not feeling it yet. Oh, maybe I am feeling it. I feel a little different right now than I did 15 seconds ago. a little better one than that last one. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Okay. Okay. That's two right there fairly quickly. Makes me feel a little better about myself and better about y'all, to be honest. I feel better about you guys. Say they're right there. Right now. Another little guy. Take it easy, friend. They're pretty. There's one. the little dudes hanging out together today time of year when they should be eating getting fat for the winter alright see if that happens again yeah when the current is slower I'll use this spinning reel and spinning rod and that lighter float and the lighter sinker because the current's not really going very fast yet when it's going fast I, I get that the bigger rod and reel and the heavier sinker and the heavier float or if I'm fishing in shallower water I like the lighter float there it goes
a tiny bit better. But they are all good. They are all good trout. Not that one. Not that one. Pay him for his meal. This feels like a little better one. Touch better. A touch. Take it easy. We'll set you free. Ready? Set him free. Right. I think this is going to be one of these days where I can't show y'all all the fish I catch. It's going to be one of those days. This is the time of year here, you know, like in most other places. Um, in the spring, it's when everybody goes crazy about getting out and fishing. Well, here it's in the fall. It's smaller than the hook. I'll put on a different one. Yeah, today's gonna be one of those boring fish catching videos. Not gonna be it's fun for me. It's a little selfish. It's fun for me. Probably not so fun for y'all. Y'all probably would rather see me running around in circles out here or something. Something a little more exciting. But I can't think of anything much more exciting than catching a whole bunch of trout. I don't have much imagination. A little better fish over here. Let me try my jig. In our picture book, of course. Now, uh, when you get here, you can go take the point straight up into the house, and you pour it down the stairs, and then they will take, and uh, they will uh, show you everything. They run up pretty close to me in their little tour boat. Am 
finally caught one on my jig. That was about long enough to keep, but I ain't keeping fish today. Sheep's head number one. Different spot. Caught seven or eight over to that other spot. I don't know. It's never really got. I mean, I had a lot of bites. But that's the way it is when you shoot head fishing. about 12 feet of water out front of the dock on some brush I think not up under the docks like you would expect well while I was in there uh, I had a situation which I didn't like uh, and I may not have handled it right I don't know but uh, I was fishing a dock and I tied off on the dock. I took a rope, tied it, you know, on part of the dock. Um, you know, the beams or whatever that hold it. And uh, to my knowledge, a lot of people that crappie fish and sheep's head fish, that's kind of a common practice that they do. So I uh, I did that to try to sit in one spot. And so something was messed up with my line. So I sit down in the boat and I was, you know, messing with my line or whatever. And my boat kind of got turned sideways and it was up against the you know the post the bottom of the dock the pilings and so i heard somebody up in the yard say something about my dock or get off my dock you know could you not get on my dock or something so i was like okay and so you know i got up and i pushed uh the boat away from the pilings and uh, anyway i kept fishing and then i heard her again and apparently she had come down there and she's like can you untie from my dock so you know obviously she didn't like the dog tied to her dock so I'm gonna untie it so I didn't say anything I just started untying it right then and I looked up and she had a camera like her phone videoing me like I was gonna I don't know what she thought I was gonna do if I was gonna say something or tell her no or damage her dock or something so that made me mad when I saw she was videoing me because she was turning it into a you know trying to turn it into a situation so anyway I didn't say nothing I just kept untying it you know because I was already I felt bad because obviously it was a big deal to her she didn't want me tied to her dock so okay it's a big deal to you I thought it was okay there's no reason to try to explain myself she thinks it's not okay so there's nothing to say just untie you know and so uh, anyway I didn't 
say anything. I just untied it. And then when I untied it, she goes, thank you. Okay, you know, so I didn't say anything. I just kept doing what I was doing. She said, you're welcome. And I said, what? She said, you should say you're welcome. <laughs> thank you. I was just like, you're not going to video me and try to humiliate me, you know, and stuff like that. So, anyway, that kind of made me mad, but that's part of it. That's the first time I've ever uh, had anybody say anything to me, but I was tied to her dock. I shouldn't have been tied to her dock. I guess I wouldn't do that anymore. Apparently, some people don't like that. But uh, I just didn't think it was that big a deal. And I wasn't going to damage it or anything. But anyhow, uh, that's what I did, right or wrong, you know. Obviously, I shouldn't have tied to her knot, but uh, I didn't want to say any. I mean, I was mad, so I wasn't going to say anything to her. And I just kept my mouth shut. So, until she tried to make me say something. She determined to make me say something. 